YouTube, my check one, two, my check one, two. Yo, I got two things to say, bro. Like, I was thinking, like, before I start recording, I started thinking, like, what can I say, like, to give some motivation, some inspiration, like, to, to the world? <laughs> but, like, yo, yo. So, I don't know what demographic of people who be watching my videos, but, like, young, old, on your deathbed, don't matter. Do not matter. Like, bro, you could do anything in life, bro. Like, it's just, it just a matter of time, bro. Like, for real, for real. Like, if, if you go to college, bro, like, like just stick to it. And especially, let's that's, that's if you know what you, like, you want to do if you don't go to college. Like, there's so many things in the world that you could do, bro. Like, if you want to, um, like, if you like guns, bro, go to the military. If you like, um... You like hoeing around? Hey, we got OnlyFans for you. Bro, there's so many opportunities out here for y'all. Like, like you can do anything in the world, bro. Like, you can really do anything in the world. Like, if you want like, to be seen and, like, known, bro, like, YouTube, I guess. Uh, You want to, you fake? You fake? And uh, you know how to lie? Acting. Acting is a great role for you. Hey, hey, I'm just saying, bro, you can do anything in life, bro. Just gotta, you got to be consistent and you got to be determined. Simple. Number two. Number two, there is a lot, a lot of meat rind people in this world, bro. Like you gotta, you gotta know who you surround yourself with, bro. Cause y'all be like, y'all love munching, bro. And, and for those who don't know what munching is, munching to me, it's just like you just unnecessarily, like, like how, how can I put this in YouTube terms, bro? Like you just, you just like bananas, bro. You just like, you just like, and it, you like all bananas just in any type of shape or size. Like you just like for no reason. Like you get, you like you be in the comments of somebody post. Da, 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 this why you not, da, da, da. but you not doing nothing with your life anyway. Anyway, bro, we come with five disturbing voicemails with, with wait, five disturbing voicemails with backstories. Let's go ahead and get to it, y'all. I love y'all. Welcome, uh, new subscribers and new people. Let's get to it. Uh, this first one comes from Jade from Seattle. After college, Jade and her boyfriend Steve wanted to live together. They had talked about this since they were freshmen in college together Quick. often, and eventually they started their lives together. Fire. Unfortunately, all has not been happily ever after so far. For some time, almost every day after work, Jade will come home to unwanted gifts from a stranger. Gift baskets full of things like jewelry and other expensive items. Hey, that sounds nice to me. occasions, flowers with letters. But every single time there would be a gift basket left. Fire. include a photo of Jade out in public with family, friends, her dog, or her boyfriend. One day, Jade took the basket into the house and began crying, causing Steve to come running to her side. Mm. Steve was furious, as he knew this wasn't just a sign of harassment, but also stalking. Mm. Steve would later install security cameras around the house. After a nice dinner one night, Jade was taking a bath and was listening to some relaxing music. Okay. She heard her phone ding. It was a text from an unknown number saying, I'm outside. Jade screams, causing Steve to rush. Bruh, hold up. Like, like, how do, how do you even get somebody number? Like, like, what? Shin and see the text. So Steve checked the cameras through his phone and saw a tall man was at their doorstep. Dang it. The man stood there for about five minutes before leaving in the direction of the woods. What? This was a screenshot of the man standing at the door. Is that human? With a black mask over his face. Jane also attached this video she recorded of herself home alone one night while Peter was at work, and the man came to the house knocking on the windows as she texted her mother and grandma in fear. She ain't that bit. She ain't all that. You could have stalked anybody. If you if you stalk her, you could have stalked anybody. Uh, my boy doing the classic knock. Provide much assistance to <laughs> only suggesting she change her phone number. Fast forward a few nights, and Jade began to hear her phone go off at around three a.m. Mm. It was the same unknown number calling her. Nah, 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 nah. You know how the amount of dedication, like, like you stalking me through the day in, in, in the middle. Nah, 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 nah. Look, I would have been cool with, with the daytime, but nigga, three a.m. Like, you, do you rest? Do can, can I have a moment of peace, please? He won't even let me sleep. He won't even let me sleep. Nigga, three a.m. 
what is, what is going on in your head? Why, why me? You, hey, can can we have at least shifts? Can you, can it be me in the in the daytime and somebody else at night? Three a.m. Insane. A minute or two later, insane. Jade's phone vibrated, notifying her of a voicemail left from the number. It this was the voicemail. It better not be no breather. I don't have a house. I don't have any friends. I don't care. No love. I don't care. I have nothing. And I have no fucks to give. Like, what, like why, why are you telling me? I don't care. I don't care. What do you, what do you, what, what? I don't care. But I have this huge to kill. This is my world. And I'm the one who controls this. It's not a bloody game. I'll take you at any time. And you can do anything. I know you best. <laughs> He said, I can't do any, sir, sir, step on the, step on this front porch one more time. It would be your last. It would be your last. Stop it. He, man, you, who, talking about, I won't do anything. Sir, please. I beg, man, I would get on my knees. Please step, please step, please step, please step on this, on this porch one, one, even on the line. On, on, step on the line. I swear. Well, you are. How fast you can run. Ain't no running. What scares you? What scares me? These bullets were real too. <laughs> Jane and Steve went to the police station together to show them all the proof of what was happening. This was fairly recent. He saw his panic though. This is livid. The case is apparently still under investigation. She says the man still occasionally leaves unwanted gifts to this day. What the police doing? Man, anybody, man. On November 21st, 2018, at mm. around 1 in the morning, a young man named Dylan received a very strange and alarming voicemail. At the time he received the voicemail, he was asleep and didn't notice it until a few weeks later. This was the voicemail. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you, you the woman. Please, please get me. Yes, please. Like, bro, okay, let's be honest, bro. Like, let, as a dude, let's really, let's be completely honest. Say, okay, say a bad chick is stalking you and just leaving. Nigga, you not mad. It's like, <laughs> please, no, stop, stop, nigga. <laughs> Wait, all right, let me run, let me run, let me, let me get focused, let me get focused. My bad. This was the voicemail. Hey, Dylan, I just wanted to know why you did that color. It's really nice looking at in the closet. Are you bad? No, are you bad? It's really nice blue and white and tell me what is your favorite scary movie or are you the scary movie? Dylan said are he had bad? no idea who the girl was. He didn't recognize If you're bad, you could come in. Whoever it was had his number, knew his name, and knew the color of his bed, blue and white. That's a horrible, that's a horrible combo. In his closet. And whether that was true or not, the intent of the call was obviously to scare Dylan. And admittedly, it would be a very unsettling voicemail for anyone to listen to. At the end, she asks what his favorite scary movie is, which could have been a reference to the movie Scream. What's your favorite scary movie? Uh, I don't know. Dylan I would have said something stupid, Jaws. What you gonna do? <laughs> like, you gonna, you, you gonna th throw, like, a, a shark mask on or something? Please. Jaws. weren't able to help since the predator it had taken so long to report it. When he would try to call the number back, it would dial to a weird random number, which led to an invalid number error. What the f Completed as dial. Please check the number and dial again. Mm. A lot of women's worst fear are stalkers. People like the guy you just heard about in Jade's story. It's a much bigger and more common problem than most people Damn realize. that boy, stop it! The voicemail you're about to hear was sent on December 14th of 2022 to a girl named Sasha. Sasha it? lives with three friends from her sorority in a house that they rent in Syracuse, New York. Mm. Sasha met a seemingly nice and normal guy while out in town with her friends. Ain't nobody normal. They spoke very briefly and she gave him her number. The man's name was Jeremy and he doesn't go to school at Syracuse University like Sasha does. Rather, he was a local in the area. 
the two arranged to go on a date for drinks and dinner at a nearby bar. According to Sasha, see, the date didn't go well in her see, opinion. I ain't gonna lie, man. If a, if, a, if a guy tried to go out for drinks and dinner, man, let's be completely honest. That's so basic. Let, nah, kick them to the curb. That's basic. Let's like we not look in 2023. We're not going. Hey, we're not going to basic dates anymore. We're not going to the movies. We're not. I'm sorry, it's done. We can't look. Look, we did. We all have been to the movies on a date before. Like, stop it. Stop it. We're not doing that no more. I ain't, nah. I can't speak for all of us because some of us, you know, we like like we some some of us ain't been on dates because you know we just like we one of those and like. I if y'all got a question what one of those is, then I'll explain the next video. But yeah, you one of those. As he radiated unusual vibes, and she thought he was See? weird, she split the bill with him because she knew there wouldn't be a second date, and she wanted to do the right thing. Okay. He dropped her back home after the date, and sent three texts later that night about how much fun he had and how much he liked her. We didn't even do that. He added to the discomfort for Sasha. Instead of responding, she hearted one of the messages. But the text continued on and on every single day until the point that she decided to block him. Unfortunately, this was not the end. On the night of December 14th at 2.15 a.m. when everyone in the house was asleep, Sasha got an anonymous call that left this voicemail. I buy the same products you do, only I get a much what cheaper. The I save hundreds of dollars a month. Yo! And this one simple trick what the that I'm about to show you. Boy, you Don't scared spend the fuck out of me, boy. What is you even talking about? you want. Your breath sound hot. Your breath sound fucked up. <laughs> like, boy, back up. You shouldn't leave your windows open, by the way. I'm whispering because I don't want to wake you, but I left you a surprise on the kitchen table. At the end of the call, you could hear a door shutting. This was the front door of Sasha's rental house, and the sound of the door closing alerted one of her housemates, who woke up everyone in the house to ask who just shut the front door. All four girls were in the house, though, and it was none of them. This was when Sasha noticed the voicemail and listened to it with her housemates. What Jeremy left on the kitchen table was a stuffed animal turtle, Sasha's favorite animal that she fire. mentioned on her date with Jeremy. Fire. Alongside it was a Christmas card that simply said Merry Christmas from Jeremy. It's the 14th. He prompted the girls to call the police. It's the 14th. Sasha showed the police officer the texts and the voicemail. Nigga, we got, we got the voicemail like, was self we got like 11 enough, days. And the nonstop text from Jeremy backed up the story. It was enough for the police to find Jeremy and charge him for breaking and entering and stalking. It's stupid. He only did a week in jail and was sentenced to community service a week? and multiple fines. It's been a month and a half now, and Sasha has not heard from Jeremy. Hmm. In the year you get a week for stalking? An elderly woman from Greeley, Colorado, with failing vision, received this voicemail you're about to hear on her landline phone. In a panic from hearing the voicemail, the woman called her son from the neighbor's phone in a state of hysteria, stating someone had taken over her home phone. Her neighbor checked out the phone for her, I know it. <laughs> and after telling her it was okay, she calmed down. But a few days later, it happened again. The woman was truly petrified this time and once again went to her neighbor for consolation, but this time refused to go back to her house. Her neighbor called the woman's son to tell him about the situation. So the son took time off of work and traveled to Colorado the next day to help her. Hey, real son, real After son. testing the phone to see if anything was wrong, it seemed completely fine. But he planned to stay with her the following week to make sure she was okay. The son was horrified when he discovered what was really going on. When she had lifted the receiver, rather than the dial tone, she heard this message. Connecting you. Please hold the Oh, line. Lord, y'all. Y'all see, see the date 2012, bro? Bro, a lot of stuff's going on in there, but hey, let, let me focus. Let me focus. No right. AWS. Station Zulu Foxtrot 77. Zulu Foxtrot 77. Status alert con 4. Status alert con 4. Security tracing in progress. Yeah, we turn this shit down. Yeah, we turn this shit down. Mm -hmm. The message would come around the same time every day for the next few days between 7 p.m. and 7.15 p.m. 
any other time of day. There was a normal dial tone, and the phone worked normally. Hmm. The weirdest part was that the phone wouldn't ring at these times. The recording was heard instead of the dial tone if they lifted the receiver to make a call between 7 and 7.15 p.m. The son recorded the message, and the next day, the phone was dead for most of the day, unusable. Upon calling the phone company, they said they couldn't do anything as nothing seemed to be out of the ordinary for their end. That evening, the son tried to take another recording to see whether the message had changed, but it was just the dial tone now. The message was never heard through the phone again. Mm. The mother was still afraid to pick up the phone for a long time after this, causing the son to post the recordings online to see if anyone on the internet would have a clue to the meaning behind the recording. And while some people suggest that it may be some kind of secret government message or code, no one seems to know for sure. Yes, sir. On October 29th of 2009, that at 5 a.m., Braxton McCannon's mother kept receiving calls from his sister's phone. This was strange because Braxton's sister was 66 home at the days. When Braxton's mother left her room to go ask her daughter why she was calling her. She met her in the hallway. Braxton's sister was already on her way to her mom's room to tell her about the phone mysteriously calling her mother over and over again and how it was scaring her. It was not her who was making the phone calls. It was her phone itself. The phone was currently still inside her room as they were talking. And during that time, Braxton's sister's phone called their mother again. This was proof to their mother that it was in fact not her daughter making the phone calls as she was standing right there. This chilling realization wasn't the creepiest part, though. This time there was a voicemail left after the call. Hey there! <laughs> Alright, let me lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Hey, somebody choke it! Did somebody help them? Somebody is choking. In the voicemail, you can hear Braxton's sister's radio playing in her room. Then unexpectedly, the radio cuts off, and a completely random, Yo, disturbing sound starts blasting into the phone. The sound almost resembles a horrific screaming. I don't know what you heard. Noted that what's extra weird is that if this were a ghost somebody choking any form of accidental call, the phone would have left a substantially that longer that? message. They, they yell at him. Just hangs up after a few seconds on its own. Mm. Hey man, hey, this is why I, I don't I don't think phones and like social media is like it's like good, bro. Cause now you get like especially like if you got like like say like you're not famous but you got like a decent following. So like you're not moving like a famous person, you move like a normal person. But like you you got the clout, like you got the clout. So like you got more eyes on you if that makes sense. So like, nah, nah, man, lock your doors. And look, 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 if you don't have blinds, that don't even make sense. Get blinds. If you do not have blinds and people just see straight in your house, you are the problem. You want to be watched. Like, have you have you seen you on Netflix? Go watch you. Go watch you, and, and then uh, and then you want to get you want to get some um, blinds there. But y'all, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you like. Comment, subscribe. It's Black History Month, so you know what to do. Hey, hey, if you don't like if you don't like it, comment and subscribe. To be honest, you really, you really, you really, there's something about you we don't know about. Cause look, you're not supporting a black man during Black History Month is crazy. But look, look, I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna throw like a little um video for y'all, so y'all can uh continue watching me if you with me. But I love y'all and thank you for all of the support. I'll see y'all next video. We out. Ugh.